This is a maintenance video for inspecting, cleaning and lubricating the solenoid of an Eclipse GTEC. In order to get to the solenoid in the GTEC you will first need to remove the frame. Please see the separate video on how to remove the frame. Once the frame is removed, best just to move the breach sensor cable out of the way to give you access to the solenoid assembly. The solenoid assembly is made up of four parts. We have pilot section, we have solenoid plate, we have solenoid body. Inside the solenoid body, you can just see the end of it here, is solenoid spool. First of all, you need to take the complete assembly off the bottom of the GTEC body. So we're using a zero or number one Phillips head driver, remove the two mounting screws in the main body. Lift that way. Before we go into more detail on the solenoid, you can also see two gasket o-rings here. This is a 3x1 o-ring and a 5x1 o-ring. These are just o-rings even though they look like they're shaped. Once they just pop out of their pockets, they're just standard o-rings. So obviously make sure that they're in place and have a light application of grease on them prior to reassembling. The body can be placed to one side. We'll now take a look at the solenoid assembly. Take out the two screws that hold the solenoid body onto the GTEC main body. We now remove the second two large screws that hold the pilot onto the solenoid body. These two screws are the same size and dimension as the two mounting screws, so it doesn't matter about mixing these four screws up, they're all the same size. And now is removed the pilot from the solenoid body. There's nothing that can be maintained on this, this is just a replaceable item if need be. I have two further very small screws that hold the plate onto the solenoid body. Move them one at a time. They can be placed to one side too. Now the plate separates from the solenoid body. Have a quick look at the plate. There's nothing on the outside that seals against the pilot valve. On the inside there is a gasket that sits in a groove on the inside of there. There should never be any need to replace that. Now that complete unit plate and the gasket can be placed to one side. That just leaves now the main body and the spool. It's using something to poke onto the end of the spool and push it out of place. Slide it out. And we have on the spool we have one large seal and two smaller seals. Just give those a wipe. Wipe over and inspect them. Make sure they're all sitting in their grooves nicely. No twists or kinks on any of the seals. Once they've been inspected, you can place the spool to one side and do the same for the solenoid body and clean with a q-tip or microfiber inside the solenoid body to get out the old grease. Inspect for debris inside. There's nothing else to be removed off this part. To rebuild it, take a small amount of grease again and apply to the three seals on the spool. Doesn't need to be drowned in grease, just enough wet all the seals, place back inside the body. You can now attach the plate. It will only go on one way. You'll see there's some pips on the back of the plate. They need to locate into two holes in the body. Once that's in place, you can take the two small screws, put those back in. 
these don't have to be tight at all. They're literally just holding the plate in place. They're not clamping anything down. All the clamping action is done by the, the solenoid. They just stop the plate falling off. Can now reattach the pilot. Again, there are two pips on the pilot locating two holes in the plate. Once you've got that in place, drop in two screws at a time. You don't want to over tighten one without the other being in place first. Just drop them in loosely into place first. And then once they're both in place, just go from side to side, just tighten them up gently. Take complete solenoid assembly now, reattach it onto the body, lining up the holes in the frame, sorry, lining up the holes in the body, screws, and again, just like the pilot, don't over tighten one side without the other side being in. Once both screws are in place, go from side to side, just making sure they're snug down. That's maintenance of the solenoid. The frame can now be reattached as per the other instruction video regarding the frame.